Chloe. What? Where? It's a dark room. Looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first... selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe 
a new dose will calm you down. No. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. that happened. So sick. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura, and those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath, and this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever. And she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. 
I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good, because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with a camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay. Now, let's- Wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. What? What are you going to do to me? I'm going to make you live forever in my photographs. That's all that will be left of Maxine Caulfield. They won't even find your bag. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. 
You can do so much better. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane That's week. Good. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh, well, <clears throat> that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well. Uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change Stop time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is starting in a photo soon. You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your... For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens. I have to save Chloe. This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but... Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. 
Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Bing. These airline seats get smaller, so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, Things have been hectic, to 
say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Max, you did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm, Chloe! I'm Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! 
Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Now, it feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? My previous timeline was so perfect. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. 
quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. What? No, David, no! Jesus. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Over. It's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. <gasps> he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson? Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. The Prescott's had to know about this. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? David, um... She was... Pretty stressed out, so um, she went to go um, medicate before I ended up in here. So she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room.
Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you got. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find more. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? <laughs> Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kinda scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I... I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. <laughs> Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. I'm sorry. shithole delivering logs after the railroads closed down. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go.
images. Just what look at it. You can't take a picture when you're dead. This now is move your ass. Okay. It's all over this. Whoa, Max. You do know things. I'm such an idiot. Only if you don't find the safe spot and tell the flow over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody I else first. This is real. How can I get out of here? Electrocuted. Oh no. No more storms. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. Please, 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 please. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The Max. The broadcast system is now in effect. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. No, okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. 
You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So Hello. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. No! Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. No, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! Yeah. You saw... You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson and he... He killed her. How? How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. Neither would Chloe. I knew Chloe and her were... close. I was jealous, but, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Jesus. This is not... I hate to say I'm glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. 
Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Hey. Be careful out there. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. 
Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe, I know this isn't easy, but it's time for you and me to let the past go. We have to focus on our future while we still have one. That's so easy for you to say. You don't know what my life has been these past five years. Come on, of course I... But at some point you have to move forward. One thing I learned at Blackwell is the saying, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. I have to do this. So I guess I'm on my own. Again. Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Oh, excuse me, I'm going- Nathan- That fucker is- Because- Will you please- Mark- Okay, Mac. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but... Everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... I, you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline to see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. 
Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive, oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked, it actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm but back in class. As he what the hell? Films. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory, I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, 
Can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and there you go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Wait. What's going on? I could frame any Nobody even dark. cares? And capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my darkroom. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I like to think of it as our dark realm. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. I don't believe it. I see you, Max. Just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? I cannot say this. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend.
Victoria's room has to be nearby. There's a little bit of ordinary skin in the CFM or all shops. We're having our max series, you know. I should have to see if I was to get the shit out of me. I should have to see if I was to get the Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me Max. again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand that the place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could Maybe be your... Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. I realize now you'll never be an artist. Much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. I miss those days when- Max! Those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Wells. Well, this... Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Do 
you hey, baby, baby. who wants to go ape? I knew I should go ape, go ape, baby. What kind of sick mind would steal Did money from the handicap? Come over here. Nobody will miss Max or her Your friend Chloe man. after this comes out. You're such a hypocrite, Max. I may be talking about. Get your bony ass over here, Max. Cut you open, come back freak. to the dark room. I know you're dying for it. Those were my bees, Max. Those were my fucking Max. bees, Max. Rachel, Rachel Ever. Just like her last name, I can finally see right through her skin. Max, you need to get high like Rachel. Want some drugs? Damn it, Max! Wake up! Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom's away, I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Wheels. Had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to You are feast ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hello, lame. Max should see me make a move on you. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> oh shit, look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. 
I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was Honey, about to I start a new life of you in like California. A breaker, breaker. I know I have to start a new life in California. We'll have to go with Please, Max, you don't kill me. Who? Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? It wasn't my choice. I didn't ask to rewind time. No, but you were happy to use it to get people to like you. <sighs> As if you cared about them. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? You were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends, and I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl.
You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destin. Let's talk about your superpower. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you... I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a draw. Cowabunga! Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze... Photobomb! Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our- Chloe, you're back. Kate wasn't the first. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Come on, Max, we're almost there! Chloe? I... I must have passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield! And you're amazing! Max! This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. 
wherever I end up after this. In whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. And they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!